Hey guys, Zach here, hope you're having an amazing day. Right now we're going to go over my favorite hack for getting high quality prospects. Now, let me go ahead and pull my little fancy dancy whiteboard up and we're gonna get right into it. So here's what most people in network marketing think. I literally hear this even today in our programs when people are first like getting started before they know what's going on. They say stuff like, you know, um, like it's a good thing that it's something is free, right? So, so I'm like, hey, so how much does it cost to get into your program or your, your network marketing company? And they're like, oh, it's really good. It's free. Okay, that sounds cool. And it sounds good when like a bunch of network marketing corporate people are together and they're trying to make idiotic ideas about how we should build the business, which you should never listen to a freaking corporate person about marketing or building a business because they're a freaking corporate person and they have a job, just so you know. And if like 99.9% .9 of all of them can't build the business, that's why they're a corporate person. So having something that's free is almost always a bad thing. Okay, so free signups. I know there's companies out there, it's free to get started and there's all kinds of different ways to spin it. I've heard freaking all of them. And there's, you get a free sign up and the thing blows up. And true, you do get an explosion of growth, okay? So you get jillions of people in, but almost all of them are losers. If you've ever been a part of something like this, you know what I'm talking about. The retention is awful, no one produces anything, and the whole thing is just a glorified, ego-boosting, sunshine-blowing load of crap. So one of the ways to get around having a bunch of losers on your team is there's two ways. I'm gonna give you the hack first, okay? Because the hack is the faster way to do something. And I'm gonna give you like the long-term fix, okay? So the hack, if you will, the hack is actually to make it not free. Now, if you're in a company where it's free to enroll, okay, I view that as a negative, just so you know. Um, but if you've watched anything on our channel, you know that we actually charge people to get into our business regardless if our company does. All right, so what we're gonna do is when someone gets into the business, we're going to enroll them in a system of growth. Now your opportunity, what most people think their opportunity is, is just their MLM. They think that this is an opportunity. This is not an opportunity, okay? Your MLM is not an opportunity. Your MLM, your network marketing company, is simply a compensation plan, okay? That's all it is. It's a compensation plan, end of story. You sell a product, you get a commission, you recruit other people to do the same, they, they get a commission and you get a cut of that commission, okay? That's the whole thing. You can spin it a million different ways, that's how MLM works. So this MLM is not an opportunity in and of itself. Just like if you were to go, and right now you could sign up for, to be an Amazon affiliate, an Amazon associate. You could sign up for that literally right now. Um, probably within 30 minutes you could be an Amazon affiliate, Amazon associate, and if you get a thousand people a day to buy a product that you promote, you'd be really, really well off most likely. Well, what's the problem? Getting a thousand people a day to buy the thing that you're an affiliate for, that's the problem. So you being an Amazon affiliate is just a compensation plan. It's an incentive, but it's not actually an opportunity, right? So same thing with your MLM. You have a, a compensation plan that you can take advantage of, but you have no way to actually execute it. That's what a system of growth is. A system of growth is the execution method. So if we were doing Amazon sales, the system of growth might be, I'm going to show you how to build a content site, like a blog from scratch, to where you're going to get 30,000 visitors per month. And out of those 30,000 visitors, you're going to probably get a thousand people a month to buy something. Okay, I'm making those numbers up, but that's a system of growth. System of growth for network marketing is, in our case, we're going to teach people how to build online with sales funnels and advertising. Okay, so ads and funnels. Now, a system of growth can also be something as ridiculously stupid as hotel meetings, right? Or as spamming your Facebook. Now, I, I don't know if that's a system of growth. That's actually like a system of death. But you get the picture, right? It's what you do to build the business. So we're going to package a system of growth in a product. And then we're going to charge money for that product. And that money is going to be the lowest possible amount that I would ever consider freaking charging is $1,000.
the lowest amount I would ever consider charging is $1,000. We've tested stuff at 100, 300, like actual tests, not make-believe hypothetical bull crap that a lot of people like to talk about, specifically people that coach people on network marketing that don't have a team. We've tested at 100, we've tested at 300, We've tested at 1,000, actually it was 1,200, it was a little over 1,200. We've tested at 3,000, we've tested at 6,000. Here's what I can tell you. The very least I would ever do it is for 1,000, ever. Why? Few reasons. Number one, we have to pay the ads off. If I'm gonna spend money on advertising, I need to pay for that. Well, I'm not advertising. I am stalking people on Facebook. That's free. No, it's not, your time is worth something, but for the sake of our conversation, you're not spending any actual money from your pocket to stalk someone. So let's just say that it's free. Okay, isn't it far better to be compensated for your time than to not be? Would you show up to your job if you were no longer compensated for the hours that you put in? Most likely not. So why are you showing up for your business that way? You shouldn't be. So I'm going to charge $1,000, number one, to be compensated for my time, and two is to pay off my ads if I incurred those expenses. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that if I'm charging at least $1,000, don't you think my quality is going to be a lot higher? It is. I'll just tell you right now, it is, okay? The reason that we don't have any options to come into our team for anything less than, than $1,000 is actually more than that now, but the only, or excuse me, the reason is like when we did the $100 thing, we had a bunch of morons come in, okay? It was awful, it was freaking terrible. Um, the $300 thing was, it was basically the same thing. It was just a different price or different price of the same deal. Terrible bunch of morons. You, this is a, this $1,000 price point or more is a self-selecting filtering mechanism that gets rid of the riffraff. Okay. Now you still get some problem children that come through. Don't get me wrong, but it gets rid of the vast majority of the riffraff. Well, Zach, you know, this is supposed to be an opportunity for the masses and uh, blah, 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 blah. If you want to stay super broke, go ahead and keep saying that stuff. This is an opportunity for the masses. $1,000 to start a business? Are you kidding me? That is the masses. If you don't have $1,000 or your prospect doesn't have $1,000, don't you think that is an insight into their lack of skill, financial management, or overall intelligence? It is. And if you don't believe that, you'll keep spinning your wheels like I did for six years building it with a bunch of morons. So use the price as a way to filter people out. Now, will you have the same explosive line of sponsorship as you would with a free opportunity? No, you won't. But who cares? Are you trying to get paid with your ego and showing off your line of sponsorship? Or are you trying to get paid with actual money? Last I checked, I can't go to the grocery store and show them my team, my screenshot of my team and say, will you give me groceries now? That doesn't work like that. I can't go and make a house payment and say, hey, look at my team. I have to say, hey, here's money, right? So use this as a mechanism to self-select the right people. If someone has never accomplished anything, literally so much to the point that they don't have a thousand bucks, that should be a telltale sign that you shouldn't waste your time with them. <clears throat> I think I already covered the whole masses thing, right? This is an opportunity for the masses. 100% true. Listen, you know what's not an opportunity for the masses? Buying a McDonald's. That's not an opportunity for the masses, okay? You have to have whatever you need, multiple six figures in cash and then a loan or net worth of millions to go and even get a consider to buy a McDonald's. That's not an opportunity for the masses, okay? That's opportunity for savvy investors or business people. You don't have to be that freaking savvy to invest a thousand, two thousand, three thousand bucks. And if you have so little of a business brain to invest that much money to do something that could make you millions, that person is worthless to you in your business endeavors. Cool? All right. Number two, that's the hack. Charge more. I can hear people screaming about this literally like through the video. Charge more. Two is set expectations. Expectations and here's what I mean by that. Tell people what it's actually going to take. Before you enroll them, 
create a list of expectations that you have for people and make them agree to those things before they come aboard. Number two is hold to those expectations as you coach them in your team. So if someone is asking for coaching, they're asking for your time, and they're not doing the things that you said to do to build the business, why are you coaching them? Why are you spending your time with them? It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your mental resources. So minimally, this is minimally, minimally, and this is tried and true from network marketing folklore, is you need, you need, they need to work. They need to listen. Meaning they need to be coachable. They need to associate, and they need to do their volume, their PV. Okay, so if someone is not working, whatever the minimum is for you, for us, our minimum is they need to at least have 10 conversations a week. Okay, so 10 per week. Now, these all come from ads. It's not like they have to work that hard at this. Okay, it's pretty freaking easy to do 10 conversations when they're all your stuff is basically automated. But if they're not doing 10 conversations a week, and they ask anyone for personal help, and that person gives them personal help, it's a waste. Say, go have 10 conversations a week, then we can talk. Two is listening. That's taking coaching. If someone asks me for coaching, which this of course happens, right? Someone asks you for coaching, I'm sure it's happened to you, and three weeks later the person asks for coaching again, the first thing that you should ask is, you should have, you should have notes on this, what, what, did, what did you get out of the last thing? Like what was the actual result of the last stuff I told you? Because if there is no actual results, then the coaching is go back to the last conversation we had. We don't need to have another 30 minute phone call. We don't need to have another hour phone call. We don't need to catch up for 10 minutes. You need to apply what I've told you. That is listening, associating. If I'm going to do a group coaching session, that person better be there. Because if they're not there and they ask me something in private that I've just gone over in public, that's a no-no. Three is PV or four is PV. If they're not doing their volume, Obviously, they're not even doing the very basics of network marketing. So why would you why would you spend time with them? I know this sounds hardcore, but I'm telling you, if you don't do this stuff, you're not going to have a business. You're going to have a revolving door, low paying job. And honestly, this is a pretty crappy job to have. You don't want to be doing this as a job. You want to be doing this as a business. So this is how you get high quality people into your team and you have them stay. By the way, High quality people recognize strength and they recognize leadership. If you're a weak sauce pushover and you don't do the stuff that I've just said, you will keep and attract and hold on to low quality followers, but you will lose high quality leaders because leaders are only led by people at the same leadership level or above than they are. So if you want high quality leaders and you a pushover, it's not going to happen. Remember this quote, burned into your brain. If you cater to the weak, you will have a weak team. If you cater to the weak, you will have a weak team. Cool? All right, guys, hopefully this helped. With that, if you've enjoyed this video or content like this, do me a favor, go down below in the comments. Let us know that you enjoyed it. Let us know that you got value out of it. Like the video. It lets us know to make more stuff like this. And with it, guys, we appreciate you. Hope you have an amazing day and talk to you soon.